On this episode of Breaking Par, we find ourselves in a place that almost feels too good to be true. Get ready, because this is one of the most jam-packed destination episodes we've ever embarked on. We play five of the most epic courses we've ever seen, shack up at two of the coolest places we've ever stayed, explore farms, eat food we can't pronounce, cruise with dolphins, swim with sea turtles, and meet special people who call this place home. They live with an unparalleled connection to their land, their culture, and each other. Welcome to Kauai, the Garden Isle of Hawaii, a place that dances on the edge of reality and dreams. Kauai's not just a tourist destination. It's a lush, untamed Eden, where ancient traditions and modern living harmonize in a way that's nothing short of amazing. As you watch the planes come in, as you watch the ship come in, there's a mesmerism that captures you and it draws you in, and you're awed and wowed by it. And as soon as you land and hit the ground, the island greets you with, Aloha, welcome. Landing in Lihui puts you on the southeast side. Because we're on an island, locals refer to directions of one of two ways. Mauka means toward the mountains, and Makai means towards the ocean. We're headed Makai for base camp number one on this trip, the Hilton Garden in Wailua Bay. An ocean breeze delivers your room keys with a nostalgic Hawaii 5 vibe. This hotel, located by Lidgate Beach Park, where we kick it later, is easy to love. We felt like Ohana from the jump and quickly made friends. Shout out to Breaking Park, right? If lounging at a tiki bar and listening to the band is your thing, Hilton's Mama Hune's will steal your heart. Friendly staff serving stiff drinks, fish tacos, and plenty of poke bowls. But there's fresh fare everywhere on this island, even roadside. Trust us, try the food trucks. Like they say, eat local, drink local. We stocked up on Hawaiian style suds before heading back to the hill. Let's go. Kauai's courses elegantly coexist with the island's natural wonder. Fairways framed by vibrant rainforest. Tracks played under the watchful eye of Jurassic mountain ranges. Golf holes etched by the ocean itself. Seriously, the most beautiful courses we've ever seen. Walk off any 18 and you're compelled to give thanks to Mother Earth herself. When planning your trip, remember these three little words. Go Golf Kauai. Go Golf Kauai is a one-stop shop. The best courses, the best rates, all greenlit by Kauai Visitors Bureau itself. Sue Konoho is the executive director, and she's a direct reflection of Kauai's aloha spirit. Aloha and welcome to the island of Kauai. Each island kind of has its own vibe, its own feel. Kauai is a slower pace. It's a chance to really get into nature. It's a place where I think people really kind of come to slow down, kind of recharge their batteries. Our golf is spectacular. This is Wailua Golf Course, municipal golf course on the island of Kauai. Wailua is the people of Kauai's golf course. You've never played a municipal golf course like this before. The coolest municipal golf course I've ever played in my entire life. I don't know necessarily what a municipal golf course is supposed to look like, yeah. but I'm just gonna tell you, this doesn't look like a muni. It's about keeping the course as nice as we possibly can for the people of Kauai. Wailua Golf Course has graced these beaches since the 1930s. They've been playing golf here for years and years, their whole lives, some of them. And a lot of people don't want to let that secret out. I would say it's a hidden gem. 
Full disclosure, Wailua Lokes don't want too much advertising. They'd prefer this little secret stay off the radar. And we get it, we get it. Good thing the Pacific separates them from most of you watching. Number three is amazing. They obviously purposely planted those palm trees kind of with a caressant around the green, did yep, they not? They did. And I'm pretty sure hole number 17 was rather purposefully placed. Just a painting of a par three with sand protecting the front. And if you miss hit or you take a too big a club, then you're gonna hit sand on the other side, which is actually the beach. Here on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Dan and Wailua were a welcome introduction to the island's Malama vibe. Care for, protect, and nurture the land, culture, and community. So we're supposed to be here for the people. And it starts with kids. I mean, our rates for anybody younger than 18 years old is a dollar. And a junior can buy a card for nine dollars. They can golf as much as they want that whole month. What's the one thing you hear most from people walking off the 18th green? Great golf course, keep it the same. I mean, that's gotta fill you with some pride, right? Nah, it, it fills me with pride, it fills the crew with pride, it fills the whole island with pride. There's a sense of pride that comes with checking Wailua off the list. Come on! And to all who've yet to play here, Dan says it's pretty simple. Have a good time, take it easy, just be respectful, you know? I do think we have to go to other places, but I'm not sure why. Next up, we head a little Mauka. You remember which way that is, right? Yep, we're back towards the mountains to hit Puakea Golf Course. Puakea has incredible backdrops, plays through deep ravines, crosses natural streams, occasionally reveals the ocean, even plays along areas where they film Jurassic Park. We teed it up with some local sticks and soaked up this lush jungle golf course. like a local favorite or what? It's yeah. definitely one definitely of them, one of them here, here Wailua. Sure. How long you been playing out here? I've been playing out here for about maybe 10 to 15 years. 10 or 15 years, heck yeah. Well, man, this is an absolutely gorgeous course. Hey, yeah. thanks guys. Yeah, right you on. Thank it. you guys. Thank you. Hello. We could have played 36, but it was time for my ties with Miley. She's the KVB's director of marketing and our gracious host at an iconic Hawaiian restaurant and bar. Yes, we're talking about Duke's. Well, I'm so glad that you guys are here at Duke's here on Kauai, which I actually just learned is the original, so yay us. But this is actually one of my favorite restaurants. It's also a local favorite. Obviously fresh fish, wonderful surf and turf as well. Great beverages, it's fantastic. This spot is a complete homage to Hawaii's favorite son, the late surfing legend, Duke Kahana Moku. Duke is the dude and was a world famous Olympic athlete and innovator of modern day surfing. He might have played a little golf too. Oh, well, we've had over 50 major motion pictures filmed on the island of Kauai. Makes sense. The one I think that is Kauai's claim to fame is, is Jurassic Park. Never heard of it. <laughs> we haven't gone downstairs yet, which is the Duke's Barefoot Bar, which is a more casual atmosphere. People love to come and gather and talk story. Pauhana, as we call it, you know, Pauhana meaning when you're done with work. So it's a really great place to check out as well. You have to wear shoes? Mm. Don't wear shoes. <laughs> shoes are required, I think. Oh, man. <laughs> I think it's... Stick around. After the break, the breaking par Ohana hops on a catamaran and catches an eyeful of wild dolphins heading towards the Nepali coast. And plenty more golf as we wander through Poipu Bay in the ocean course of Hokawala. We enjoyed the grub almost as much as the golf on Kauai. Savoring the flavors and exploring the courses is one thing, but this island is a treasure trove of outdoor adventures. Passengers on our American flight over had plans to hike through lush rainforests and explore hidden waterfalls. We were told simply to bring a towel before heading off to see the Nepali coast by boat, where, by the way, we were guaranteed dolphins and hot dang did they deliver. The dolphins led us to a crystal clear snorkel zone where the sea turtles aren't shy and the fish are nothing short of exotic. The Nepali coast is the most beautiful coastline we've ever laid eyes. It's hard to put into words. It's like a movie set fit for King Kong or T-Rex. As if the hundreds of dolphins weren't enough, 
Blue Dolphin Charters dip you under freshwater waterfalls. And the cruise back is Hawaiian-inspired lunch and libations, literally while the Jurassic Park theme song serenades. If life under the sea isn't your cup of tea, you can go ziplining over scenic canyons, hike Waimea Canyon, kayak rivers, or hop in a helicopter and lay eyes on some of the most unscathed landscape in the world. The activities are endless here. We hit a traditional luau, caught the NFL Dolphins at Rob's Good Times Grill. Let's go Dolphins! Let's go. Let's go. Even carved out time for the Kaloa Rum Tour. Tudor style, that's a very distinct you know, Kauai either speaks to you or it doesn't. And a lot of people that it does speak to, they really are touched by the island, by the people. They do want to do something more than just the surf and sand. Sue put the lime in the coconut. Most of our tourists and visitors really want to experience Kauai or the islands on a very local level to understand the aina, which is a word for land and the people here. And you just don't get any better than a farmer's market because yeah. you've got the gifts of the land. So all of this stuff is just brought to us with a lot of love and aloha. And then visitors really get a sense of respect for where they've traveled to and maybe take that back with them. The next friend we made, Craig Sasada, really helps further illustrate this island. Craig, how long have you been blessed to be on this beautiful island of Kauai? Uh, I've been fortunate uh, to be here for 18 years. I'm originally from Maui. I'm born and raised on the island of Maui. But you know, one thing so unique about Kauai is that it's the lifestyle that uh, a lot of the islands had way back when. Pace is a lot slower than, let's say, where I'm from, Maui. It's a vibe out here. It's really its own vibe. Located on the sunny south shore of Kauai, Poipu Bay is backed by Emerald Green Mountains, and the course is sculpted from a rolling plateau eight stories above the Pacific Ocean. Everything here is basically natural. We kept everything as is. The ocean bluffs here, the natural terrain. We have vista views and it's all unobstructed with no buildings. Our fairways are generous. We try to keep the greens in the best shape possible so to give them a nice experience as they walk in off the greens. We were fortunate enough to be the host of the PGA Grand Slam of Golf from 1994 to 2006. Tiger Woods came here eight times. He won seven of the eight times. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, this was a nice uh, vacation for him here and he enjoyed the golf course. Where does your headspace need to be by the time you get off that plane to play great golf on the island of Kauai? The wind is a big factor in this state. Trade winds are really prevalent here and all the golf courses are made that way. But if you understand and check your ego at the door, you better get a good round of golf. I've heard that a lot. You're coming to golf in the island of Kauai, check your ego at the door. Probably check it at the gate back home before you even get here. I like that. I like that. Stay right here, because we're pulling out the big guns, snacking on stars, and stamping the sickest golf hole we've ever seen. Straight ahead on Breaking Park. E ala e kala i ka hikina i ka moana ka moana hohonu pi i ka leva ka leva nu i ka hikina ayakala e ala e. So when we want to greet the morning and when the sun comes up, it's like greeting life. When the day starts, we want to start with everything good so that when good comes to us and we express that goodness there's no choice but for it to come back and that's how we want to start every day of our life and that's hui aloha the gathering of all things good mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you guys so much. That is a special moment. Thank you so much for being here and for allowing all of us to share our culture with you. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah. Mahalo. <laughs> is there any better way to start a day? Welcome to the Ocean Course at Hokuwala. This Jack Nicholas signature design consistently ranks with the top 10 in Hawaii, and the stretch of play from 13 to 16 is a point of pride in all the Aloha State. 
We're on 16, tell me what we're in for. Well, this is the finishing part of our longest stretch of oceanfront holes here in Hawaii. It's a risk reward par four. So you're gonna try to drive this green? We're gonna give it a shot. Okay, all right guys, let's tee it up. All right, here we go. That looks cash money to me. I've never hit a golf ball wearing a lay. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Woo! Let's see the real birdie here. Pure. Thanks for showing me hole 16. Thank you. Let's go play another. All right, let's go uh, car 418. With the ocean behind you, the 18th at Hokawala, funny enough, finishes with an island green. The ocean course Hokawala has got the longest stretch of oceanfront holes in Hawaii. That obviously speaks for itself. These are some of the most beautiful golf holes in the world, but we're more than that. No doubt. There's something here for everyone. Their teaching professionals are rewriting the book on golfer development with their Operation 36 program. My philosophy of teaching, working from the hole backwards, nice bet. Oh, and by the way, if you can't fight the draw to play here, but you've never swung a golf club before, they got you covered. Oh, what a shot. This place has a lot to offer, worthy of its own episode entirely. But one special banana banger they treated us to was a visit to the farm at Hokawala, where Hualani's very own son served up the freshest fruit we've ever had. Everything you actually see displayed here right in front of us, all from our organic farm here on the property. And so I'm gonna just make us a farm to table kind of style uh, fruit bowl. Farm to table for breaking part. Allah. Um, this is our organic farm here, roughly about 113 acres. You wanna come on in here? We're gonna get to see some star fruit. That guy, you just bite it. Really? Yeah, bite it, just like an apple. We just let nature take over, let God do his work. It's from the blessings from up above, right from the earth, right into our bellies and right for our children and more. The fruit from this farm goes straight to table right here at the resort. It stays right here, so we decided to do the same. Base camp number two on this trip is Timbers, Kauai. Perched above the ocean course, surrounded by the Pacific, Timbers Kauai Ocean Club and residences will reside as the most royal place we've ever stayed. Full kitchen, living, dining room. Our place had more bedrooms and lanai's than we could count. You can rent and stay for a golf trip or buy full or fractional and be an owner here forever. While we might've felt like owners, we were on borrowed time. And it's now time to hit the road for our final course. This is Princeville Mackay. Welcome to the North Shore's Princeville Mackay Golf Club. National Geographic called this course one of the top five scenic golf courses in the world. We have some of the most amazing views in probably all of the Hawaiian Islands, some amazing ocean holes, some incredible mountain views. There's just a lot of magical things that make this property so special. General Manager Michael Nider nails it when describing the flow of this course. It's like playing through the verses of a poem. So when you tee off to start your round, you quickly make your way out towards the ocean, like the name Mackay implies towards the ocean. So this is our first reveal of the ocean. We got a nice look at Hanalei Bay just behind the green. Oh my God, this is just so beautiful. As you progress through your round, you go through this almost like a rainforest type feel. I love it, we are in the jungle. We're in the jungle. This tee box is so remote. We had to build this shack for a mower. We can't bring a mower out here every day, so we decided we're gonna leave it out here. Michael, I kind of have a thing for cool tee boxes. When you hit the back nine, you have these 150 foot tall cooked pines. Now all of a sudden you feel like you're in a totally different environment altogether. 
And then the round of golf continues to change and change. 14 is the gem of the back nine. If you hit it a little bit right into the biggest water hazard in the world, you could be looking at double. It's a really unique property because there's just really not many other golf courses like it. Princeville is wild. Albatross nest here annually, and chicks take first flight from atop these cliffs. And 20% of the entire Nene population, Hawaii State Bird, call this place home. If your putter's not dropping birdies, peep the Championship Disc Golf Course or the Makai Music and Arts Festival. Happened to be popping off the day we were there. We have some local musicians that play ukulele. We have local vendors that do arts, crafts, jewelry. Same with the Malamo, trying to support our local community. Uh, these are all local vendors. They come in every Wednesday. Everything from fresh produce to some really cool little trinkets that you can take home from Kauai. Just behind me is actually the one hotel at Hanalei Bay. Absolutely stunning hotel. It is probably some of the best views that you'll ever see of any hotel that you go to. Tonight we're going to be going to the one hotel and we're gonna be dining at the one kitchen, so your guys are in for a real treat. I've always been a dessert first type guy, so Michael took us to the sweet spot. Number seven, absolutely a gem of a golf hole. What am I staring at? What is happening in my world right now? Right, it's a lot going on, right? From the back tee here, it's 195 yards to the flag today. We gotta cross over this gorge. That's about 250 foot drop straight down to the ocean. Behind that, we got the Hanalei Mountains as our backdrop. To our right, we've got Mount Makana, which is one of the most famous landmarks on the entire island. It's sensory overload. It's literally panoramic. All right, Ryan, you ready for this? Let's see it, man. That's so pure. Oh, this looks really good. There we go. Great shot. Yeah. Woo! Makai. Oh, my God. Give that to oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. We walked off the seventh with par, <laughs> but didn't go far because Princeville Mackay has the most epic sunsets in the world. So the sunset tour is really cool. A lot of people just love driving around in golf carts anyway, but they learn about Kauai, they learn about the local flora, the fauna. We go to four viewpoints on the golf course and every single one of them is absolutely stunning. And then the best part is that you finish out on hole number seven. It's probably the best view on the entire island and you just get to watch the sun fade away. This place is Hard to describe how special it really is until you actually experience it for yourself. Straight ahead, we dive into a life-size Zen garden, unearthing the true secret that makes Kauai so special. It's not what you think. Next on Breaking Par. So today we're here cleaning up the beach, which we do every Saturday. We get a lot of debris that washes down from the Wailua River, coming down from the wettest place on earth, Mount Waialiali, which washes a lot of trees and debris, everything down, and it winds up here in our Lidgate Pond. We're refilling the steps. We're refilling the steps of the sand. We get anywhere from 30 to 70, maybe 90 people that volunteer every Saturday, and every little bit helps. We have a lot of Locals, we have a lot of tourists that come and help out. It all puts a good energy into the island. All the islands have their own feel to it, but Kauai is real country, and it's, it's just more, more of a home, more, more family. It's an island that really speaks to your heart. It's a spiritual place. It's an island that gives, expecting nothing in return. I've lived on Kauai for 20 years as a guest. To me, it's an awakening every day to be present, to contribute to Malama, our community. You know, Malama Aina is probably the biggest thing here is we take care of the land. You respect the land. You leave the place as it was. We have to do our part to make sure that we preserve that because if we're not careful, all this beauty can go away. You try to leave uh, with uh, least disturbance as you can, but still enjoy yourself. When you come, you tread lightly. You make sure that you take as good a care for our local community as you would for your local community back home. I think if we all work together, we all just put in a little bit of giving, it makes everybody feel better. 
it's better for the island, it's good energy. It's not just take, 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 it's you want to give back and, and you can feel it inside. It's all good. There's no other place in the world like Kauai. I hope you get a chance to come and visit. Bye! As the island starts to slip away during our departure, we can definitely say the pineapple juice is well worth the squeeze when it comes to this breaking part destinations. Playing golf here wasn't just a privilege, it was an honor. We navigated the stunning courses, ventured off the cart path, and savored the flavors of this tropical paradise. Let's just say this visit was overwhelming in all the right ways. So until next time, golf fans, keep watching, keep playing, keep living that mantra. Mahalo, and may all your adventures be as wild and unforgettable as the Garden Isle. Our thoughts and our prayers from the entire island of Kauai are with our ohana over on Maui. And we're here for you forever.